good morning. So, uh, if you remember last week, we went and visited the house of Muggs. Uh, it's a house out in western North Carolina, out in the mountains, that is covered with somewhere between 30 and 40,000 coffee mugs. Uh, neat little oddity. You know, we took a, about a two hour drive out there just to, just for something to do, just to get out of the house. Uh, on the way back, we came across this, well, what looked like, from the road it looked like a stadium. Uh, like a set of bleachers and uh, curious as to what it was you could tell it was you know overgrown with trees and obviously something that hadn't been used in a while so we got off the road at the next exit and we backtracked and found it it turns out it's something called the North Wilkesboro Speedway and I did a little investigating and the North Wilkesboro Speedway was one of the original NASCAR tracks it was built back in the 40s and it actually hosted NASCAR races up until the mid 90s, I want to say the early 90s. Um, all the great uh, old time NASCAR drivers uh, drove around that track. It's a little five eighths of a mile track. Um, but it hasn't been used now in. 20 years, I think, other than a, a brief moment in the early 2000s where they were able to put some of it together and host a few uh, other kinds of races, uh, not NASCAR, not like the big Winston uh, series, but just uh, smaller races. I'm not even sure what they were, uh, just for one season. But other than that, it, it hasn't been used since 1996. And, uh, well, the earth is definitely starting to reclaim it. We drove around the entire track. Uh, we found a few spots where we could possibly get into it and uh, do some exploring. But it was the middle of the day. Uh, you know, I drive a white car. Um, you know, we just parked kind of by the fence and kind of walked around it. We didn't really want to take a chance uh, going through a hole in the fence getting into any kind of trouble last week but I'm thinking this week maybe we can go out there park the car in a little more of a secure spot and uh, get inside see what we can see I saw some photos uh, of the inside and uh, definitely looks interesting uh, the earth is like I said the earth is reclaiming it it is, uh, it's like something off that television show, Life After People. Some of the buildings are starting to collapse. It definitely looks unsafe, uh, in parts of it. So I'm going to look on Google Maps. I'm going to just kind of check out the area around it and find a way to get in there and, uh, you know, take some pictures. At least take some pictures. I wish that my drone worked better. Um, I'd like to fly the drone around the track or something, but I don't think that's going to happen. Funny story about, uh, <laughs> about racetracks. Probably about 15 years ago or so, uh, I lived in Milwaukee, and going Uper, and Mrs. Uper came up to visit me. They were actually living in Florida at the time, and they came up to visit. I think they were going up to the UP for something. I don't recall what it was exactly this time, but they flew into Milwaukee. So I went and picked them up, and driving them around town, just kind of showing them, showing them around Milwaukee, we wound up over by the Wisconsin State Fair, which is also where the Milwaukee Mile is, and they do host NASCAR races there. Uh, I think at the time they were hosting uh, the Craftsman Truck Series and some, some of the other... I'm not a NASCAR guy, so I don't really know these things, but, uh, you know, some of the other different types of races. Uh, we got to it, and I drove up to it, there were, the gates were open. The gates were open to the track, and they were doing some landscaping, and they were doing something in the infield, I think maybe setting up for a concert. Um, but either way, the gates on turn one 
and turn four were both open. I pulled up to the gates at turn one and there were all these uh, landscapers out there. And I just joked with them and said, hey, how much to get on the track? And uh, Yeah, they said something. I just kept on going. Ha ha. And we drove around the other side of the track and the gate by turn four was open. And there was nobody there. So I said, uh, I thought about it for five seconds, and I thought, well, how much trouble could I get into? So I crept over the uh, the little hill there onto the bank back stretch, uh, and uh, gunned it. <laughs> we were cruising all along the front stretch, and uh, one of these like guys in a pickup truck. He was like the foreman of the project that was going on in the infield. He comes chasing us down. Uh, I, my intention was to go into the go into the gate on turn four, drive across the front stretch, and then exit the gate on turn at turn one, where I originally saw the people that didn't work out because by the time I got to turn one they, those guys had already packed up their stuff and were were gone the gate was now closed the gate that was just opened five minutes earlier was now closed so this guy he does chase us down uh, I wasn't trying to get away from him uh, he had a flashing light he wasn't a cop but he looked important um, He, uh, he asked, what the hell are we doing out here? And I said something dumb, like, uh, I was just looking for Greenfield Boulevard. Uh, something. I The first thing came to my mind. He told me to... And then I, well, and I asked him, I said, I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. How the he, how do I get out of here? Um, he said, you keep going the way you're going and go out the, go out the gate that you came in. So... Now I have a, a, a free pass to just cruise around. He told me to do it slowly, but uh, so I, I, I left. I uh, hold on here. I left, and uh, we kept going down the back stretch and around turn three. Uh, by the time I, I was about to get to turn three, he turned back into the infield, like you know his job was done. When he did that, I gunned it. And uh, cruise around turn three and turn four. Left out the gate. Then I came in. But uh, I got to do a lap on the Milwaukee Mile. And the best part about it was, is I was driving a, uh, gosh, it was like a Geo Metro. It was this, this tiny little pathetic car. And it didn't have a muffler on it. Um, <laughs> so it sounded, well, like a three-cylinder car but no muffler sounds. Uh, it was pretty awesome. The best part about it was, you know, I had two people with me. I had I had going Uper and I had Mrs. Uper. So, uh, you know, I had witnesses, and you know, I guess that's all that really matters. It was a lot of fun. I don't think I'll be able to get the car out on to the North Wilkesboro Speedway this weekend, which is a bummer. Uh, it looked like it was fairly secure. And, uh, not quite possible to get onto the track. But, uh, like I said, we're going to park the car, you know, a, a little bit away from the track, and we're going to walk up and try to sneak inside and see what we can, see what we can find. Uh, pictures I've seen, it, it looks like it was just just abandoned. I mean, there's still cash registers and there's still furniture, and, uh, just all kinds of stuff. It was like it, it, they just up and left one day back in 1996. Jeff Gordon, he won the final race there. Uh, I don't even know if he still races anymore. I don't think he does. Like I said, I'm not a big NASCAR guy, even though I live in. Winston-Salem, 
that where they named the Winston Cup after? Probably Winston Cigarettes. Winston Cigarettes come from Winston Salem? I don't know. R.J. Reynolds. They make everything uh, cigarette related around here. I'm not sure what they do though. So, uh, yeah. The North Wilkesboro Speedway. We're going to check that out this weekend. Uh, it's it's less than an hour from the house. I don't know exactly how far it is, but it, I see it all the time uh, when I drive to Charlotte. You know, I, I, I've seen it hundreds of times. I just never really knew what it was. Now that I do know what it is, uh, we're going to go back and we're going to definitely try to get inside and uh, see what see what there is to see. Anyways. So there's a little story about going Uper. I got a lot more. That was kind of one of the more, uh, that was just a, a moment that, uh, we had. I have a lot more stories about going Uper, and <laughs> I know he's a little nervous. I know he's definitely a little nervous about some of the things I, I could say, but, uh, <laughs> a lot of that stuff just belongs where it is in the past. Uh, lots of good times. Lots of good times. Me and that guy, we've driven across the country. We've, uh, we've gone alligator wrestling. We've, uh, hey, what else have we done? We've, uh, <laughs> we drove to Atlanta one time, uh, from South Florida. I think we were going to Kentucky and I'm not even sure why. Uh, maybe just somewhere to go. Well, we made it as far as Atlanta. I remember we had... He rolled his car up onto a curb and got two flat tires. We, uh... Yeah, lots of good times. 